And now let's focus on cybersecurity. You already know Lukáš, who will explain you why is cybersecurity so important for 2N and who will also describe multiple layers of protection. Enjoy his presentation. Thank you, Stepanka. Hello, everyone. Now I'm, now I'm going to talk about cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is a hot topic for any business in the world of today. Cybersecurity is not only about expensive hardware like routers, firewalls. Cybersecurity starts right at the front door. 2N is a manufacturer of IP based access control devices. You will find intercoms, access control readers, answering unit, and many other applications and services in our portfolio. All of them have one in common, and it's IP technology. These devices are very often part of the critical infrastructure in smart buildings. I mean mainly in offices, but in these days also in residential buildings. And they are very usually connected to the internet. So simply said, they belong to the world of IoT devices. IP-based technology, internet connectivity. These two things make our devices very powerful, uh, feature-rich. However, on the, other, uh, on the other hand, thanks to these two technologies, our devices may be a target of cyber criminals. If you take a look at some statistics, you will see that 38% of smart buildings were targeted by cyber attack last year. Again, cyber attacks on IoT devices have surged 300% last year. And these are very high numbers. If you consider that our devices belong to both of these categories, you can understand that we take cybersecurity really seriously. And so should you. If you are going to work or cooperate with access control vendor, please always ask them how do they handle cybersecurity topic. If you would ask me how do we as 2N deal with cybersecurity, I would say that cybersecurity is one of the base of our DNA. You can see that there is a reliability, and today you heard a lot about the reliability. All the presentation related to the products, new technologies, had one topic in common, and it was reliability. You also saw a nice presentation from Radka about interoperability and integration of our devices with third-party solution, with third-party technology partners. And the third base of our DNA is cybersecurity. This is something I'm going to talk about right now, and let's take a look at our approach. We firmly believe that if we want to deliver you cyber secure products, cyber secure solution, we have to start right from the company identity. In 2N, cyber security is a key topic right from the top management. In 2N, we have a team of experts who implement all the processes and principles into our daily life. We implement uh, ISO 27001 standard. We cooperate only with proven, trustworthy vendors, and we also respect intelligent property rights, all to protect our customers, but also our resources and assets. The second layer I want to mention is GDPR privacy. We are aware of the importance of the privacy of customers' data, and therefore our devices, our solutions, comply with all the rights from the GDPR. With 2N, you can ensure a customer that no one will eavesdrop them, no one will watch them, no one will misuse their data. The third layer of the protection is design and testing. If you want to deliver a product, everything starts with the design. And right from the design, we focus on the cybersecurity. It's something uh, what is handled by our R&D guys. We have a team of experts who analyze all the known threats, all the known vulnerabilities, and develop the product according to secure by design standard, according to SOC uh, 2 standard, and according also to the best practices from Axis, our mother's company. Last but not least, I want to mention is the layer related to the product itself. If you will take any of our products, uh, you will see that all of them communicate uh, like in a secure way. The communication is encrypted and we use protocol like SIPS, SRTP, uh, HTTPS, TLS, all to prevent, for example, man in the middle attack. We have also implemented many other like protective mechanism, like intelligent password, multi-factor authentication, 
and also authorized access to RTSP video streaming. If we will talk about the access control and security and access control, we always recommend to our customers to use uh, secured credentials. I mean smart cards, I mean secured RFID cards, and I also mean Bluetooth mobile credentials. Today you have heard two nice presentations uh, from my colleagues who are talking about the Bluetooth. So you can imagine that right now uh, the Bluetooth is really secure way of access control. This is something we are sure and we can guarantee you that no one will misuse your mobile credentials data. Last but not least is a choice of reliable and secure cloud platform. As you know, we have my 2 and Cloud, uh, which is a great platform providing you a lot of services. And uh, still in these days, uh, many people consider cloud as an unsecure solution. It's not true. If you choose the reliable and secure platform, you can be sure that no one will misuse your data. But it's not only about the protocols. It's also the, the, the view on the cybersecurity is more global. And if you want to deal with cybersecurity, you have to implement a lot of processes in the company. I mentioned, for example, ISO 27001. We have also well established a cybersecurity framework on our R&D. So our guys on R&D are able to identify some vulnerabilities, protect our devices. And if we find some vulnerability, we are able to sort it into the matrix according to severity, probability, and remediation effort. But it's not only about these processes, about the protocols, because the thing is that you can put in place the best technologies you can even imagine. But in these days, the easiest way how to hack the network, how to get into the network is to use social engineering. So you should focus your effort also to the employees, to the staff, you should train them and you should be sure that all the employees are skeptical almost about everything. Anyway, I don't want to scare you. Uh, the fact is that the, the cybercrime via IP, it's something what is, what is real. But if you will follow some best practices, some guidelines, then you are able to significantly reduce the risk. And that's exactly what we have prepared for you. We have prepared for you seven steps how to prevent cyber attacks. I have already spoken about some of these, so I will focus on the rest of them. And it's important to, to realize that the first step to the cybersecurity is from physical security. So you should work with durable devices, which has, for example, temper switch inside to protect unauthorized manipulation with the device. If we will move really to the cybersecurity world, uh, the, the least you can do is to set up strong password. If you install two end devices, you will be forced right after the installation to change the default password into the strong one, consists of eight characters, combination letters, symbols, and digits. The next thing I want to I wanna highlight definitely is keep the software up to date. It is something what is really difficult to, to persuade you to do that because if you install the product and the customer is happy with that, you do not have any, any reason to do the update because the customer doesn't want a new features. So why you should take care of that? But the thing is that if we find some vulnerability, if we find some threat or bug, we fix it. We fix it and we release new firmware version and you should do these updates exactly because of, the, of these bugs and bug fixes. So this is, this is very important. What I want to say is that we release these, these versions uh, once per four months, so it's for free. You can do the update immediately and remotely. The last but not least I want to mention is network security. I've already spoken about that today, but it's really important to work with vendors, with products, which supports a secure protocol like SIPS, HTTPS, TLS, and of course, by default. I suppose there are a lot of installers watching us, and maybe you ask yourself the question, uh, how to configure everything? He was talking about authorized access to RTSP stream. He was talking about multi-factor authentication. It has to be so difficult to configure it. The answer is, no, it isn't. We have very intuitive graphical user interface, which helps you with the easy configuration. 
and we have created a special so-called hardening guide for you. Simply said, it's a step-by-step guide which helps you with the initial secure configuration of our devices. And at the end of the day, you can be sure that you have installed cyber secure devices into the network, into the building. So what is in it for you? I want to point out that if you want to choose access control provider, you should always ask about the cybersecurity. With 2N, you can be sure that you work with the vendor who has the cybersecurity in its DNA. You will install the cybersecure product you can trust to. And furthermore, you can ensure your customer that you will keep their privacy data in safe. What is in it for you as well? You can educate yourself with 2N in the cybersecurity topic. You can visit our webpage, www.2n.cz, and go to the cybersecurity section where you will find all the general description of our approach. You will find there all the details about the cybersecurity of our products. You will find there seven best practices and hardening guide I already mentioned. And if you really want to go even deeper, you can register to our webinar. We have cybersecurity webinars. Registration is for free, and you can get even more uh, information over there. Cyber attacks on business cost billions each year. One purely secured access credential can give cyber criminals keys to the business, literally. Ladies and gentlemen, make cybersecurity a priority when choosing an access control system. Thank you very much for the attention. Our products are well known not only for their high quality and smart features, but also for their reliability and resistance. I would like to welcome Peter Kosek, Head of Pre-Sales, and Lukáš Psota, Product Marketing Manager. In their presentations, uh, they will show you different ways how we test our products at 2N. And don't worry, you will see a lot of interesting videos. Thank you, Štěpánka, and hello, everyone. Are you wondering what does the title of the presentation stand for? Let's dive into the presentation to get the answer. Throughout the day, you saw a lot of interesting presentation talking about brand new technology, Bluetooth for mobile access control. We talk about new products. We talk about new services in my 2 cloud. And we also talk about successful installation. All these presentations had one topic in common, and it was reliability. Reliability is one of the core values for us, for 2N. But what does the reliability mean? For us, reliability is quality over time. For you, it means you sell the product, you install the product, and you will never ever hear about it again. The product will perfectly serve to the customer without any compliance, without any troubles. Lucas, you mentioned reliability and quality, and there's plenty of products on the market claiming to be reliable and quality ones, but I guess it's hard for us and also for you to distinguish where it is a fact and where it's just a marketing cliche. So let me show you one example of two products looking very similar, as you can see behind me. You probably recognize the product on the left side. It's a standard Apple Watch Series 5, and on the uh, right side, uh, there is a smartwatch you can buy on a Chinese e-shop and maybe you wonder what is the difference? Why are we showing this? Once uh, the difference is in the price tag. Uh, the right product is like 20 times cheaper than the left one and uh, that must mean something. Uh, there is a huge difference inside the product itself in the set of features, in their quality and in the performance of the product. And uh, the product on the right side pretends to be something different than it really is. And that is something 2N doesn't want to do with our customers. We always want to be transparent with you, with the parameters of the products, with its performance. And we are testing our products in third-party independent laboratories. Uh, we are having publicly test reports from these laboratories. But we said it is not enough for us, and we have set our own strict criteria for testing our products and we are also doing that in-house uh, in, uh, in our headquarter. And 2N invests a lot of money into this activity, so we have built special environmental test chamber, audio test chamber, 
water resistant test room and we are also using special IK resistant test machine to test IK. That means that with these products we are testing the mechanical properties, uh, mechanical security, also cyber security, speed and accuracy of the touch displays and also convenience of use. But we are not only doing this in-house in these special chambers but we said we want to simulate real installation conditions so we have installed multiple 2N products on actually on the roof of 2N headquarters and these products are on a direct sunlight, on a direct rain, there is no roof above them, there is no object near them which would cast a shadow, so it behaves as in real installed product. And we are watching its performance, our guys they go there regularly to uh, check the touch displays and everything and we are also measuring for example temperature of the processors, how they behave in different weather conditions and we can tune them. We are doing this for the products you already know, you sell them, you got them on the stock. But as you can see on the picture behind me, we are also doing this for the products yet to come uh, as a 2 IP style on the picture. It has been installed there already this summer. It has stayed there during the hot and sunny days. It will be there throughout the winter here in Czech Republic, during the freezing days, during snowing and everything. So once we release the product next year, you can be sure that it will work very fine in, cloud, uh, in cold days and cold conditions on the north of Europe and also uh, in the hot sunny days, for example, in Dubai. Another test done with 2 ip style, not already launched product, is impact resistant test. Uh, we test the impact resistance of this intercom as it's uh, standardized in the norm. So we used certified hammer, which is dropped from predefined high into the product. We started with IK7 test. And as you can see on the video, the intercom survived without any trouble. So we move forward and then we try to do IK8 test. So we took even a bigger hammer, which has 1.7 kilos and the dropped energy is uh, five joule. As you can see again, the intercom survived. So IK8 is the official certified uh, value, which will be uh, written in the data sheet. But this wasn't enough for us. This is real uh, example of beyond the data sheet when we went beyond and we set our own internal metric that the intercom has to survive three hits done by IK9 hammer. So we did the test again and I'm glad to say that the intercom survived as well. So even this internal test passed and we are confident that we can deliver you really durable and reliable product which is suitable for outdoor installation. The next example I have here is our own extreme test uh, when we expose the product to the direct sunlight. It's a simulation of the condition somewhere in the desert of Africa then the sun is shining directly to the product. Again, nice example of beyond the data sheet because this situation will never happen. It will never happen that the sun would shine three hours on the same product, on the same space. The sun rotates around the earth, but we want to be sure that our products will survive. Therefore, this endurance test. We know about our competitors. They have troubles with the products installed outside when the sun is shining directly to the, to the touch display or to the reader. So it's almost unusable. So we want to be sure that we will deliver you product which is usable and fully working. Therefore, we test electronics inside. We measure the temperature of the CPU motherboard and we also test the mechanics and its usability in this test. The third one I want to mention is automated card reader test. For many years, we have patiently tested our readers uh, by our own manually. We had a guy who tested all the cards we have with all the readers and it was time consuming. And even he did that very patiently, uh, the results wasn't, I would say, objective. Uh, he never swiped a card again uh, in the same speed from the same distance. Therefore, we have created our own robot. Let's call it like a robot. And as you can see on the video, the robot has a special hand, take a card, move above the reader, set exact the reading distance, which is 
set up very properly and then do the, the swiping test many, many times. This is a huge advantage that we are able to get proper values from this test and we are able to tune our readers to offer you maximum convenience in the use of the readers. It's important to say that we are not testing only our 2N products, but we are also doing comparison tests of our units with uh, competitors' units. On the picture, you may see a third-party competitor product uh, looking similar like our flagship. Oh, and we have taken it into our uh, testing chamber and uh, this product uh, claims to have IPX65. So first we did an IPX4 test. Uh, I can show you a short video. Uh, the product uh, was working fine. Uh, after this test has been passed, uh, we have uh, prepared second test for IPX5. You can imagine that as a three minute heavy rain uh, because there is more water with higher pressure. And what was the outcome of this product which uh, claimed to uh, survive this test? The result was that when we opened the unit, uh, you can see in the red uh, circles that there was water inside of the product, directly on the connectors. Also, on many places on the PCB, there is one picture uh, with the camera PCB, when once the water gets inside, it definitely leaves permanent damage. But what was the most uh, crucial thing, uh, I got a picture uh, after four days after the test, and you can still see residual drops of water, uh, which uh, evaporated from the product and it was basically blocking the view of the camera so the product wouldn't be usable for multiple days after one heavy rain. Some tests are not carried only by us but even by you, by our partners, customers during exhibition when, when we meet and uh, here you can see our, we call it indoor touch crash test which we have taken in these two years 2018 and 19 uh, for 37 days on exhibitions and it survived uh, the indoor touch more than four and a half thousand hits. And I must admit, two units got damaged during this time, but uh, in average, each of these units has survived more than 2000 hits, which will probably not happen in your household when you install this product. There is a short video uh, where you can see with slow motion camera with 120 frames per second, uh, 100, sorry, 500 grams uh, heavy metal ball hitting from 40 centimeters, the glass of the product, leaving no scratch and no crack on the display. So thanks for testing the products with us. All of our products, I mean outdoor rated, have certification, official certification for IK tests, IP testing and temperature resistance. But there is no norm that specify that one unit, one exact unit, should pass all the tests together. I mean, for example, you will freeze the intercom and then you hit it with the hammer. Or you hit the, hit the intercom and use the IP test with the water. So it's not specified in, the, in any norm, but it's something what can happen in real life. And that's exactly what we test. Watch the video and see. So we have taken our flagship IP Verso through temperature, IK test and IP test. You can see here it was in a special temperature chamber. You may call it oven and freeze it together where the temperature has been set between minus 40 and plus 60 degrees. Each temperature has been there for 30 minutes. After the temperature test, we have taken the product out, tested the functionality, was working fine, and we immediately have taken the product for IK test. Icon 7 on the display and IK8 on the camera. You will see short videos. So here, that's the IK test on the camera and IK7 in slow motion on the touch display. After these tests, we have again tested the functionality, everything was working fine, and we have taken the product to the IP chamber with the water with a specified hose, pressure and everything. And after five minutes given by the certification test, the product was still working. So IP Verso has survived the temperature test, IK test and IP test one after each other. Do you know any brand on the market which does tests like this? We know one, to and does. It's good to trust the data sheets, but it's important to verify them.
Thank you. Thank you for watching us. As you have just seen, to end products are safe and pretty resistant. And that's not all. In the upcoming presentation, which will be held again by Peter Kosek, head of pre-sales, you will discover hidden benefits of 2N products. Enjoy the presentation. Thank you, Stepanka. Hi again. I have prepared for you something really interesting and I would say even thrilling. And I hope you will find this very easy to understand, but powerful for you to use, because I will be talking about automation. You know 2M products, how beautiful they are, but what we say sometimes that the true beauty lies inside of the products. And what do we mean by that? We mean the set of very quality features, the integration capabilities, and many more stuff, also including automation. And you may wonder what it is and how it can help you. It is a powerful tool designed especially for you, for system integrators, because it, because it helps you uh, to deliver some customized features, scenarios of your customers. And it helps you to fulfill their requirements, basically. And how is that possible? Because it enables you to create, let's say, kind of scripts. But don't be wary. These are very easy to be made and very easy to understand. It's no typing and writing of some commands. It's something much more funny. And I will leave the description and introduction of automation to my dear colleague, Gareth. Gareth, it's yours. Automation is a unique and powerful feature of 2N devices. It lets you build on the existing features by creating your own advanced features individually tailored to your project. The intuitive graphical interface lets you flexibly cater to almost any need. Choose from the existing list of events, actions and conditions. Drag them onto your workspace and link them together. Let's try a real example. We'll trigger an alarm if the door is forced open. Drag the event Unauthorized Door Open to the workspace. It will trigger a user sign to be played from the intercom to warn potential trespassers. Next, the facility manager will receive an email with a sequence of photos from the IP intercom. An HTTP request is also sent to the security office to trigger a visual or audible alarm. Finally, we'll send an input change to the integrated surveillance software to start recording the video feed from the 2N intercom or other IP cameras. Discover the endless world of automation scenarios. That was something, right? Uh, with this tool, we basically changed the meaning of making a couple lines of programming because before it was always creating some code. But today, it's literally drawings, lines between these objects behind me. And what these objects are, you've seen it shortly in Gareth's video. Uh, there are three main types. The green one called events. Uh, these events are the events happening in the intercom's access control, like someone has swiped a card, maybe you pushed a button. There is almost 30 different events you can use. Next one are the red ones, the actions. That is something, if an event occurs, you can trigger action. There is about 22 actions at this moment, and they are being added new ones and new ones with new uh, firmware releases. These actions could be playing a user sound, uh, it could be sending an email with a snapshot, and so on. And then, if you may want to make some fine tuning, you can also use additional conditions. There is about 15 conditions at this moment, and what it does behind me, uh, you can see there is uh, event motion detected. So if a motion is detected, you can uh, on the top upload a snapshot to FTP and at the same moment you can dial a number. And you can dial this number only when this blue condition is fulfilled. So it could be based on some uh, conditions needed for this. If you would like to test it yourself, just open the web graphical user interface of our intercoms or access units and navigate to the middle section called services. Once you click on that one, in services, choose automation. 
Then you will get a uh, place with five different, let's say, workspaces where you can create these, uh, let's say, pictures and connecting objects together. And I have prepared a couple examples for you and I will just navigate you how easy it is to use this automation. First scenario is, I have called it a will come home scenario. So what we will do, when a resident come home, uh, you want to turn on lights uh, along the pathway from the gate to the main uh, house, maybe in the hallway and so on, but only uh, during night hours. And you also want to trigger music uh, in the house. And maybe you even want to personalize this for different guests of the house. So let's have a look at this. What you need to do, you will use event called user authorized. That means uh, I, I came home, I swipe my card or maybe I have entered a pin or use my fingerprint. And when I do this, uh, the intercom sends HTTP trigger to the audio system, letting know that I have come home and also another HTTP trigger to uh, the lighting system. And you can see that with the lighting system, there is also blue condition time profile. So the light goes up only in the dark hours, but the music starts playing every time. And if you want to personalize, uh, you can trigger different playlists for, for the kids, uh, for the husband, for the wife of the house. So it's a very versatile. Another example I've got here, uh, we call it double door uh, airlock. Actually, we've solved this recently for a couple research facilities. Uh, where they have special overpressured rooms. And you can imagine that there is one laboratory, another one uh, connected with a corridor, and it can never happen that both doors would be open because there is a different pressure in every, uh, in every room. So basically, you need to secure two doors, and when one gets open, the other one, uh, the other one must stay closed. So what we do is, when you have one door and you open them, we send information to the other door that this door must not be open under any circumstances. And once the first door gets closed again, uh, then we are back to normal and we are sending information to the second door. Now you can open if anyone comes. And you do the same on the other side. So there is basically one access unit on each side. And this setup behind me is set basically in the same way on both units and they are securing each other quite easily. You can do the same with uh, access unit or with intercom, it doesn't really matter. These two examples are quite easy and simple, uh, just for quick introduction, but there are many more complicated scenarios and you don't really need to uh, memorize them now and, some, and something like that because our marketing team has prepared special new microsite dedicated to you, to system integrators and dedicated to automation and the best thing is that you can download uh, from this new website these special automation files where all this programming is already done and you can start immediately using it. You will also find their description of automation, documentation and also the video with Garrett which I showed you at the beginning. And we are doing all this because we see a big potential how this uh, things like automation can help you and can give you more added value for your customers. Because it is also a very good tool for proof of concepts to test immediately something which is maybe not yet part of our 2N operation system. Uh, just as an example, you all know our lift control in uh, Access Commander. We have already set up this a couple years back uh, with our couple customers and system integrators, maybe a couple of you who are watching today. And uh, using some complicated automation, we were able to control who can access which floor. And we have received very good feedback. And we decided to implement this as a native part of our access control. And you can all use it now. So even for us, it is a great tool and inspiration for some future uh, functions to be implemented into an operation system. So I challenge you. Try the automation, bring up some new ideas and send them to me, send them to your contact at 2N and we will be happy to maybe share them on the new microsite. And what products can you use with automation? It's basically almost all the IP intercoms. Uh, you can see them behind me, even including uh, the new coming uh, IP style next year. 
Uh, for IP intercoms, there's uh, needed to mention that you need either enhanced integration or gold license to activate the automation capabilities. Then there, it is the full portfolio of our access unit and also portfolio of our IP audio. With all of these products, you can use automation. And I want to emphasize that none of our competitors has such a powerful tool which is so easy to use and to help you to give you edit value and provide new features and functions to your customers. So please use the automation and discover the endless world of automation with 2M products. Thank you. Hello, my name is Gareth and today I'd like to introduce you to the latest member of our answering unit family, the 2N Indoor View. It boasts a 7-inch high-definition touchscreen and runs on our own 2N operating system, not on Android. Therefore, it offers lightning-fast responsiveness and next-level reliability. European-made with the highest quality materials and a timeless design, it's a perfect choice for any high-end residential project. The high definition display is protected by a tempered glass surface and supports full screen video calls. That's enabled us to enlarge the video call preview so residents could even identify a courier's name tag with ease. Audio is just as important as video. The 2N Indoor View boasts an innovative speaker, high definition audio codecs and an inbuilt adaptive echo canceller. All of this delivers crystal clear sound and perfect intelligibility. With the 2N operating system comes added security, guaranteeing the resident's privacy as nobody can listen in on or record resident's calls. Now, let's take a look at the unit more deeply. Firstly, we've tuned the home screen based on user habits, including only the information and buttons used on a daily basis. The product's main feature, its calling button, leads the user directly to the device directory, where all added intercoms or other answering units can be viewed in a list or a carousel. See how quick and easy it is to switch between intercoms. Next, the call log button on the home screen. It offers a list of all missed calls accompanied by snapshots from the intercoms camera. This helps you see who tried to reach you when you weren't home. The home screen even provides the current weather forecast, date and time, and allows you to activate the Do Not Disturb mode. If you have another IP camera placed near the entrance, you can switch on the unit between the video from the intercom and this external IP camera. With this, you can be sure of who's around the door before you open it. You can connect a doorbell or induction loop and guard against unintended use with a parental lock. It also lets you control multiple locks connected to the same intercom, like entrance and delivery room. The initial setup of these indoor units, as well as further management, can be done remotely via the My2N portal. Eliminate the need to coordinate site visits with property managers and residents. For the installation, you'll need the same components that you use for the 2N Indoor Talk or Compact our unique flush installation box and one UTP cable. In case you want to place the unit on the table, we also have a desk stand as an optional accessory. Do you already have a project in mind? Rely on the 2N Indoor View to help you win it.